Okie dokie, so today we are going to be uh, doing a demonstration of doing um, a dinker print with a potato. Um, so I've, I've cut my potato in half, that's the only thing you're going to need a knife for. After that, everything that you're doing is going to be either done with an old biro that's nice and sharp, or a pencil. Okay, so there is no need for any of you to be using knives. Now what we're going to do is we're going to carve um, our adinkra into this soft surface here. So I'm going to do the symbol for hope because I feel that hope symbol is probably the most important one in our culture right now. So I'm going to just start on, off by just sketching it lightly onto the surface of the potato. Uh, it's quite a curvy one, which is why I've asked you not to use knives because getting it right with a knife um, and not cutting yourself is probably too tricky. So I'm just going to carve it out with the pencil. It's not a mega sharp pencil and it's still doing it just fine. If you don't have a potato and you still want to do the print, you could get away with doing this out of cardboard. You could just cut it out of card. Um, and then once you've done that, um, just so cut the shape out of card, stick it onto another piece of card and use it a bit like a stamp. So that's another option. Um, so I'm going to just carve the outline shape. It looks kind of like two ears together or like a love heart but like um without the pointy bit at the bottom I'm gonna try and get it as accurate as i can with a potato because um, i don't want to get it wrong and then offend anybody that's another thing you see if you get symbols wrong and um, then you can offend people okay so you can see that i've carved out that shape there and the middle part is a bit like a star so um i'm just gonna carve in the shapes as much as i can um, you will need a like a bit of a tissue or a bit of paper off to one side just to get rid of any excess um, potato or um, moisture that you're struggling with, like that. And then, and you're nearly there. You've just got three more little prongs to do on the other side. Now, the nice thing about this is that if you find that it doesn't print particularly well the first time, you can always give it a little rinse off in the sink and have another go. You can always carve a bit more out and try again. Now, if you want to do the cardboard one, you can, like I said, but I think this is probably a little bit closer to the real life Adinkra. They carve theirs out of wood or out of um, like a cork, like a soft wood. So I think this is probably a lot closer to the feeling of doing it, to the real culture. Okay, so you can see that I've carved the symbol out for hope. I hope you can just about see it. They're a bit pale, these ones at the bottom. I'll just, there we go. Uh, like that. I'm just going to just stamp it down on a piece of paper just next to me to try and get some of the moisture off the surface of the potato and just wipe off any excess potato away. There we go. Now I'm just going to grab some paint. I'm just going to pop it down on the surface of here just so that I can get it nice and flat. That's it. Like that. And then I'm just going to um, maybe just spreading it out a little bit. So it's nice and I don't want a really like lumpy painty surface. I'm just spreading it out a little bit. And then I'm just going to dip my potato into the surface, like that, making sure that it's covered all over. There we go. That's a bit bare. Swirl it round a little bit. Just keep looking at it, check it's got paint all over it, and then stamp it onto my paper. If you've got fabric, you could always do a fabric print as well. Adinkra prints are often repeat prints, so it's the opportunity to print more than once. And if you want to have a go at more than one symbol, you've got two halves of a potato. I do not have my second half of a potato because I just started carving it when a delivery man arrived. So this is my second, this second attempt. Well, there we go. And then, like I say, to swirl it around in the paint on a nice flat surface. I'm just using a chopping board and washable paint and I'm just going to rinse it off afterwards. If you don't have paint, another thing you can do is... Um, use uh, like food colouring or you could get away with creating like a paint out of like coffee and you can see there are my adinkra prints on my scrap paper and then what i would do is take a photograph of them and then you can um put them onto your edmodo okay that's it happy printing everybody